Well, and, and this matter that you mentioned about state capture, uh, the, the, mini, the lands minister have been at some point responding to that. But, Mr. Yabba, may I ask on this matter, and then quickly, because I, I, I want us to go, go straight into this spare parts, ambulance spare parts matter. I'm thinking that if indeed it was the case that there's, a, there's an encroacher on parks and gardens, it's parks and gardens land, and the minister acknowledges that there's an encroacher, there's no news of the encroacher, because encroaching is, is a crime, it's illegal. There's no news of this encroacher being arrested. Encroacher moves two containers to, to a land that he doesn't have legal claim to. And nothing happens. So I'll be answer more. Quick one on this. You see, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, greetings to my fellow panelists. I see a lawyer has run away to better climbs where it's colder. Uh, well, can we bring us something back home? <laughs> Buy us tomatoes. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I think it's muted. No, it's, it's not It's here. muted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but but bottom line is that our development processes are not catching up with where we are coming from and where we want to go. Land, real market values have jumped through the roof. Land has become a commodity, which it wasn't at the time when it was being acquired in large tranches for the institutions, for the educational institutions, for prisons, for... Uh, at that time, where was Accra? <laughs> Indigenous Accra was uh, 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 along the coast. And even modern Accra was today Newtown. Right? Mm -hmm. Ridge and all those places were reserved for uh, foreigners. Now, when we came into government, and that's the problem, the structure of government has been such that government has been babysitting all of us. There's a perception and assumption that if you are not in government wielding power, you don't have any capacity. And government is piloting us all forward whilst we look on helplessly. So you must look at the genesis. Of, of this problem and, and realize the extent and scale of abuse and realize it cannot only be stopped by merely arresting the purported uh, encroacher uh, mm -hmm. on, on the, uh, what do you call it, uh, that place. Where but the, but, but it sends a signal. Yeah, 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 but I'm coming. Mm -hmm. The signal mm -hmm. should be a comprehensive policy and that's where I agree with yeah. Okuja when he says the lands minister should come forth because it is his duty uh, parks and gardens happens to be under local government, but yes. overall, uh, 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 Lands Commission is under the supervision of the Ministry of Lands. Mm -hmm. uh, and the duty to manage public lands uh, is within that ministry's purview in terms of policy. Actual implementation uh, rests with the Lands Commission. But let, let's, look, let's look at it. How do we get to the point where we commercialize, we make land? A commodity and it's gotten away it's being abused heavily mm -hmm. it's from the infilling policy and this was part of the liberalization process in the late 80s into early 90s okay. when uh, 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 there was liberalization the introduction the real introduction of liberal policies because okay. the world bank and the imf insisted that the government had to liberalize in liberalizing going forward government then decides that as part of divestiture. You know, there was divestiture mm -hmm. in the right. 80s, late 80s divestiture, which resulted in the beginning of the land grab because most of the divested areas had large tracts of land. You remember the hotel uh, uh, in that area? Mm -hmm. The Lands Commission area, Star yeah. Hotel. Do you remember Star Hotel? Okay, mm -hmm. do you remember Star Hotel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You remember mm -hmm. that it was turned into private residences? Mm -hmm. As part of divestiture, because somebody acquired it, a Ghanaian acquired it, a member of the government. It was internally sold. A member of the government acquired it. Even later, there was a problem, and it turned out that late President Rawlings, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the current then First Lady, now former First Lady, Kwendo Ajimai Rawlings, had gone into partnership with some private investors, and they had acquired the land, and there was a struggle between the private investors and her later 
on parts of the land. And that's how come they never finished developing that place. But mm. you have a situation where divestiture implementation led to insider dealing, cronyism, insider trading, and then the marketization, the commercialization of land came up. And from there, we got to the point where we talked about infilling, the infilling policy, mm -hmm. where private developers were invited to take over large, you know, the, the colonial master used to put bungalows on one acre, lots of land. Mm -hmm. Huge places, empty spaces. Mm -hmm. Some of the bungalows were rotten and otherwise. So government right. decided then, under the, 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 the uh, Rollins administration, that it was important to redevelop areas and give right. more civil servants new housing. Mm -hmm. So private investors were brought in, develop this, and the quid pro quo was that give us another set of, of houses so that instead of paying us for this, you rather you, build you houses. Rather. Mm. So That's in it. the beginning, it appeared as if it was working well <laughs> because mm. I recollect that I even represented a client in one of those uh, transactions way back where he got uh, 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 four acres of government bungalows and built several flats and high rises for the use of the government elsewhere. But then, as we speak, it has been totally abused yes, yes, to the yeah. extent that they've even forgotten about the infilling policy. They're yeah. simply walking in and taking over properties, demolishing yeah. government left, right, center, and yeah. It has become a source of major corruption in this country, acquiring government lands. Because those properties, the difficulty is that in the infilling policy, the lands are given away virtually cheap. Yeah. Mm. They are not given away at market price. So if you're a lucky beneficiary, you make a major profit immediately. I mean, if you acquire prime land in rate and at, say, uh, <laughs> 500,000 cities, yes. and you're able to sell it for... Uh, four and a half million dollars or one and a half million dollars or three million dollars you can imagine so so access to this market has been corrupted and politicized heavily and also because there isn't any institutional backing or accountability measures but the way i want to go is to look forward because yes the lands are vested in the president for all of us what do we do with them because it's inevitable that yeah. as population grows, yeah. as needs grow, yes. we have to evolve. Yeah. Sure. So how are we evolving? Yeah. Okay. So it's obvious that we are evolving in the wrong direction. <laughs> how do we structure the evolution so that it is responsive to the needs of the majority rather than beneficial to the few who are politically connected and who have access to resources that are way beyond the rest of us? But if it is government policy, uh, if it's uh, uh, public property held in trust by government, the government must account for that trust. So and the only way the government must account for that trust is to build structures, rules, regulations that will give all the population reasonable access. Oh, a very and if they are being sold, that the government will benefit from the sales. So I think that the reinvestment may be necessary, but in terms of pricing mm -hmm. and access they must be transparent how come somebody puts a container on 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 parks and gardens, parks and gardens land. land and we, we 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 can't find him anymore if it had been transparent and he had acquired it effectively at market prices then he would not be afraid yeah. of running away and, and there's everything to be said for relocating it because at that time, that was not Accra. That was a village. That's the point I started by making that. Accra was limited at the time, these large tracts of land. The prison's area is a barracks. If you want to relocate the barracks to another place, uh, uh, which is more conducive to the activities of that, you do it transparently. You get market pricing for it. Right. And then you secure that property in another place where it will even a development. Great. Because, no, no, let me learn. Mm -hmm. It's very important we yes. resolve this matter once Indeed. and for all. Yeah. There's so much corruption going on that if we don't deal with these matters in a more constructive way mm -hmm. and simply scream and yell that there is corruption, it's not enough. For example, the military mm -hmm. lands. Mm -hmm. 
Bermakam, that we've opened up with the brand new roads and all that. Yeah. The Che Homes area and all that. What, what is happening to those lands? Are those lands free lands? Are they government lands? Who is exploiting those lands and benefiting from those lands? Yeah. If Burma Camp is in a place where now we want to develop into residential properties, what do we do? <laughs> we market their land transparently. And we use the money, which is market value money, to rebuild the barracks in my village, Sechet mm -hmm. As soon as you put Burma Camp in Sechet You've achieved two things. You immediately expand the footprint of the state, yeah. and at the same time, you develop such mercy. Right. Because the facilities you locate in such mercy are such that you have no way of the place not becoming. Because uh, 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 food business will grow, yeah. services mm -hmm. to service the soldiers, mm -hmm. yeah. accommodation, everything, training, everything mm -hmm. will grow. So for me, it is time <clears throat> government accepted that the current process. The infilling policy is being abused and it's being abused for the benefit of politicians who are connected to power. And it's not just about one regime, it's a long standing problem. And one screams perhaps when there's no access to it, but no government will be immune to this if structures are not in place. So, my first structure is that let us assess and put in place a market pricing, a transparent market pricing process in the belief that. When you have real prices, right. you can do a transition. And the okay. transition will bring value to the state through creating jobs and development elsewhere. But you lose that money to relocate. Then that is where we will all grow. Look right. at school lands. Mm -hmm. Look at okay. school lands. Mm -hmm. Some schools, very soon you will find that they have nowhere to turn around because their lands are being taken over. And every Look, AME, yeah. they don't even know where their bungalows are. KME, uh, 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 STME, all these metropolitan assemblies, the properties that were developed for them in the oh, time oh, oh. they were set up, they have bungalows, they have all, because they were management institutions for the cities, so they were well set up. You will okay. find that the staff themselves don't know where the properties ah. they are, and yet individuals who have worked in the cocoa board, you'll be shocked at cocoa board lands. Cocoa board bungalows, cocoa board properties, yeah. estates that are being taken over by private people simply because they live there. They've been part of the process for a long time. They know where the thing is, but cocoa board itself doesn't even know. So, so it goes down to records as well. <coughs> the way we are not keeping records, records in this place. country. And, and we are deliberately refusing to keep good records, but we benefit yeah. from you the see, lack of records. And, and that's because why that, that directive to the Minister for Lands. Mm -hmm. To provide the records of yeah. state lands is extremely important. Extremely. And I, I got a message. Uh, it says, Alfred, please find out if some local black is aware that Justice Honyenuga's residence has also been demolished, uh, one around the American Embassy area. Is this true? Yes, it's true. Uh, Justice uh, Honyenuga's <laughs> residence and twelve others. There are thirteen bungalows that have been demolished in that For what? enclave. The yeah. Private developers are taking over. Yeah. The demolitions will continue yeah. as long as there is yeah. no clarity. Mm -hmm. the demolitions and let me quickly uh, quick, 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 quick. really support uh, what uh, the Honorable Babia Samoa has said about a registry of assets. That's why, if you look at our proposed public asset protection bill mm -hmm. mm, at section 8, we are talking about a registry of assets. And we are saying that we would like this bill, when it is passed, to include, quote, a registry of all state assets shall be created and published on okay. a government website, regularly updated in the spirit of transparency and public accountability. The state interest and governance authority, SIGA, is mandated to coordinate with all state institutions to compile and publish all state assets. If there is transparency and we have this registry, and he's very right. I mean, even Works and Housing, ask them today, how many bungalows are under your care? They can't tell you. Okay. You see, Th thank you. And I, 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 no, no, no. Let's, let's it's, resolve it's, the it's, Give me two minutes. No, in a minute. Quick, leadership. Quick. Are you asking a question? Just yeah. give me two minutes. In a minute. Leadership One minute. is a function of mm -hmm. competence, mm -hmm. direction, and growth. This policy mm -hmm. need not be negative mm -hmm. on the country. Yeah. Because it is actually an instrument for social development and growth. Yeah. Because if you want to change the user of underutilized lands in the center of Accra, 
you can transfer the benefits of that yeah. usage elsewhere yeah. outside Accra. Yeah. True. You, you understand? Yeah. It's Perfect. like the National Cathedral. Yeah. There were those who were saying that it should have been built either in Adenta on the civil aviation lands yeah. there or in Dodua. The yeah. place that they're yeah. trying to build the water park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Water that place. That is, that anyway. is over 600 acres mm -hmm. of lands that belong And that to. will have avoided all the demolitions yes, that all that went Look on. at the prime it, it properties we demolished. It the Judges footprint Bangalore, of development. Judicial Training Institute, mm -hmm. Scholarship you know, Secretariat, you, 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 Passport Head Office, Mali Ambassador's Residence, you know, Waterstone Realty Apartment all Complex. Those all of this, were including Comsys IT, all demolished. Some are in court. Demanding compensation, well, rightfully so. Well, yes. Where, where so when we talk about $58 million for National Cathedral, that one is just the taxpayer funds that went into the hole, digging the pit, mm -hmm. the world's most expensive pit. I think we, 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 do not, we, we do not add, <laughs> we do not add the compensation for mm. all of this, including the Shiraj Commissioner's bungalows that were demolished. No, let's it's a tall list. Let, let, so, let me give you the so, list. So, let so me give you the list. Mm -hmm. Judges Bangalos, one. There are about, about 15 of them, all demolished in that enclave. And the National then, Cathedral area. Then the celebrated Judicial Training Institute, where Commonwealth judges, they come for capacity building and all of that. It was also demolished. That's two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scholarship Secretariat was also demolished. And that is such a building that elsewhere it will be preserved. You know, because so the kind of people... Yeah, yeah, the kind of people who have gone through government scholarships, become international grades and all of that. It's gone. It's demolished. Then the passport head office mm -hmm. demolished. We had to approve funds in parliament over 10 million cities for a replacement. That's the new near, one. Near, near, near G GIJ. GIJ. So the passport head office was demolished. Then the Malian ambassador's residence also demolished. They have now found some land for him at uh, airport. He's waiting for full compensation. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Malian ambassador's residence demolished. Then bungalows belonging to Shraj. Demolished. Then Comsys IT firm, their headquarters, mm -hmm. was also in that enclave. Demolished. Then there was an apartment complex known as the Waterstone Realty. Mm -hmm. Apartment complex. There's created no, jobs and court. all of that. They are in court so, demanding so, about six million dollars so, so, yeah. in compensation. So by the time you add all of that, mm, the, the compensation, the replacement of all these buildings. Do you know that the judges we had to rent for them in cantonments? And we started new construction for them. Look, the way even the eviction was done, it was so crudely done that okay. we lost an appeal court. An appeal court judge who was asking for just a few days because the wife had gone through surgery, Justice Said, he resigned. It was a loss to Ghana because he had been awarded by the GBA not too long ago as the most, you know, um, uh, a transparent judge in terms of integrity and all of that. We lost him. He was so upset that why? I mean, why should I be so crudely evicted? Should, I mean, no ample for notice cathedral. for National Cathedral, which has become, you know. You know so, 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 that so, 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 so this is a list. That same no, honestly, God so, is like a It's going to cost it. us hundreds of millions of dollars to replace all these structures and to compensate oh. all these people. Do we realize I mean, that it's, the it's new. A moment the of new, madness. The new Russian uh, what, embassy. What? Yeah. The new Russian embassy. Yeah. Is it on Parks and Gardens land? No, it's just by it. Uh, is yeah, it yeah. on it? On no, no, it? no. The, the, was that land unencumbered? Yeah, it was. It was yeah, government yeah, land? Yes, yes. Okay. So it goes to reinforce the fact that mm -hmm. there will be development. Mm -hmm. Government land within mm -hmm. metropolitan Accra, the mega city of Accra, will have to be rezoned mm -hmm. properly. And therefore, if you are going to give away Parks and Gardens land for rezoning purposes, there must be market value. I just want to insist yeah, yeah. that, that we must, must have processes and structures for this transition. Okay. But the transition is inevitable. Indeed. But if we pretend that we can keep those but, lands as they are, but, but they, they will always I, be stealing. There, but there I disagree. Yeah. There, there are no, some that, that ought to have be preserved. To be kept. But that's part of because, the transition. Because Gan, the capital, okay, despite, despite the it's economic like Central Park, New York, Central yes. Park. Yes. Okay. They have a yes. huge center yes. of the city. You go to okay. New York, you go to London, they have Hyde so, Park so that is in, why, at the center of London. That is why so you there's must nothing manage. wrong in preserving no, no, it's not wrong. Yeah, uh, a green so space. Let me land. Do you know let Achimota me Forest? Let me land. They are back at selling portions. Let me land. Let me land. Achimota, Achimota, Achimota Forest. Achimota 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 let me land. Let me land. Okay, let me land. If you are preserving, it's yeah. part of the transition. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have yeah. to be certain yeah. about the portions mm -hmm. we are preserving yeah. and not touching. Exactly. 
Because exactly. if you don't have a clear policy Great. about the Great. ones you are presenting, yeah. because the city must breathe. Yeah. The city exactly. breathes through its parks. Yes. So you preserve Achimota Forest, you preserve land, parks and gardens, yeah. you preserve this place. But where are the others? Yeah. What no, if yeah. there's a bungalow of one acre yeah. with a small decrepit building on mm -hmm. it? It may be difficult to preserve, yeah. but who gets access to it? Exactly. Faceless you. people cannot acquire it yeah. for a very yeah. small amount of money to the state and benefit heavily yeah. in the open market at the expense of the rest of us. Yeah. So there Perfect. must be a clear policy that elicits market value for this transition. For Thank the state. You. For Absolutely. the state. And Thank a you. relocation which is beneficial in the sense of developing other less developed parts of the country. Point well made there. It's important indeed. And, and thank you, We're rectifying the connection to lawyer Martin Kweb. But a number of messages on this. It says, did I just hear someone could talk, Black Quad talk about the resumption of the sale of Achimota forest lands? Okay, yes, he mentioned yes. that. Yes. And, and then also, this one here from Dr. Kwame Asansi says, with all these monies that are, have been sunk into what Okujato Blackwa describes as the world's most expensive pit at the National Cathedral site and the compensation that has been paid and being paid and yet to be paid, who bears the cost? Is there going to be financial loss to the state? Is it one that the NDC is says interested in pursuing. Look, I'll be very disappointed in, a minute. in the next NDC government if people are not prosecuted for this National Cathedral disaster. I think, I think what you should say... Mm -hmm. the, the, I'll be very disappointed. Uh, the, I, the, I, look, there the must be a case for causing financial loss. The people have Cathedral. to be held accountable for this humongous financial loss to the state. I think, I think mm -hmm. what, it, it, what, it's, what the media right. and civil society should be asking mm -hmm is the strategic plan of mm -hmm. all potential incoming presidents uh, 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 in terms mm -hmm. of their outlook, their policy mm -hmm. on, on these matters. Yeah. Okay. But in addition to that, mm -hmm. in addition to that, there ought to be, and it should be account accountability. Yes, sanctions. But, but your plan and should then, include that. And then there ought to be retrievals as well. Are you aware that as we speak, Carrie Summers is keeping her $6 million in America? Well, that was the man who was the, engaged The man who was, who was engaged to raise funds for us. He failed that it, it was a fiasco, and yet he was paid up front six million dollars. <laughs> anyway, I mean, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. If we want to go on this part, I don't think we're going to end on anyway. Thank you for this. You asked for that it. leads so, us to <laughs> our next. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I tell you. I tell,